How dare you? I'm Karen Cockbender. You're talking about young women? Young, traditional foreign women are superior? How dare you? I don't believe any of that at all. I've got my, my, my crow's feet. I've got all of my cats and my boxed wine. I'm superior. I'm superior to traditional foreign women. How dare you? How dare I just act indignant. I'm going to shame you now. I'm going to shame you because I'm so offended. <laughs> Karen Cockbender's pissed, guys. She does not like the fact that younger women are superior in every way. She hates this. Because you guess, because guess what? She's post-wall. She's smacked into the wall, and now she feels like, mm, this is unfair. It wasn't, it wasn't unfair when she was young and when she was dating older men when she was young. Oh, no. She's pissed off about it now. She's really mad. And now she's going to shame you guys for liking younger women. And by the way, you want to know what's really funny? I can't believe we haven't talked about this. It's been almost 800 videos, guys. There's always new stuff. Biologically, that's what guys are attracted to. I don't care how old they are. Men have always been attracted to younger women. It will always be this way. I don't care how much you shame it. You can go fuck yourself, by the way, because our preferences are perfectly fine. And our standards are perfectly fine. And if a guy has standard, that's perfectly fine. Now, usually I don't get too much pushback on this, but certain sects and segments of men will be shamed for their preferences. And I tell everybody to fuck off if they don't like it. And you guys should adopt the same philosophy because guess what? You gotta live, you only got one life to live, guys. You might as well enjoy it and have a good time, but we have always been attracted to younger women. It's how it's always been. And you know, you're gonna get shamed in the West for it. You're gonna get a bunch of old ass bitter bitches who are gonna shame you for it. Now, mine is kind of an interesting journey because I was brainwashed too to believe you need to date women your age, the same age, approximately the same age, all this other nonsense. But I had a spiritual awakening, uh, a spiritual awakening, gentlemen, to my legionnaires years ago. What the fuck? Is that a big ass? Oh, I thought it was a raccoon. It's actually just a big ass cat. It's nighttime out, guys. That's when the little critters come out. I had a long day at work, but now it's time to kill it. But guys have always, always going after younger women because it's just the biological imperative. When you date, when you uh, copulate, when you have kids with a younger woman it actually pushes uh it actually extends uh the lifespan of the population and they've seen this they've done this study many many times where essentially you know an older male will have babies with a younger woman it keeps extending the lifespan of the species and that's just how it is and by the way guys it's very common overseas to be with a younger woman right and I wish I had done it a lot sooner. Now, of course, if you're in your teens, you can't really go too low. Or, you know, if you're in your 20s, it's going to be a little bit harder. I'm not talking about going underage. And by the way, to all you idiots out there who talk about pedo this and pedo that, what is a pedo, you dumb mother effer? You don't even know what that means. You're so goddamn stupid. You, People just use terms. That, people misuse words all the time now to insult, to shame to make you feel a certain way. The good news is I don't really care because I've heard all these things before. That's why if somebody tries to shame you into this crap, you just gotta slap the, you gotta slap the taste out of their mouth, guys. To my legionnaires, hell no. We've always biologically been attracted to younger women for one reason, and re one reason only. They're more fertile. And your brain tricks you into, you know, obviously it's more attractive. Who wants to look at a bunch of girl with a big ass fupa? fat upper pussy area or an upa an obese upper pussy area no guy wants that no guy i don't care who we and of course you know all the simps will come out and say that's not true i love all the roles on my wife you keep lying to yourself son because you have to i don't have to lie to myself because i don't have these problems <clears throat> so anyway here's my journey this is interesting guys so I dropped out of college when I was in my 20s. I flunked and I didn't have any money and I didn't even know why I was there. So around mid 20s and I said, I was just doing bad. I was doing bad in school. I didn't know what I was doing. I was spending too much time chasing ass anyway. It was really a waste of time. 
but I did learn some valuable lessons while I was there. I learned that it was time to take charge of my destiny and that nobody was going to help me do it. And I had to take control. And so what I did was started, well, I was working. I already had like three jobs at one point. It was freaking crazy. How the hell did I have three jobs? Man, when you're in your 20s, you got so much energy. I really did. I had three jobs. How the hell did I do that? Just crazy. Anyway, <clears throat> that's, I did all these things and I was really not really focused. But then when I started to get focused and I said, this is what I want to do. And I became a trainer and I did that for almost 15 years, um, 14 years and some change. I, all this time I was dating women around my age, right? And they steadily and progressively got worse as I got older. And until I was like in my early 30s and I was going to go back to college and I was like, okay, I'm going to go back to college. I'm going to do this. And I'm ready to do it now. I'm ready to complete this, this chapter. I'm ready to, to show. I'm ready to go back and get straight A's. I'm ready to do something and work, which was crazy, dude. Guys, I, I, I was working and I was going back to school. Well, I was going back to school part-time. Full-time was just too crazy. Fucking... I couldn't handle it at the time, so I went back part-time, and I worked full-time, and I was working on my business to get that up and running. Ah, freaking normies. God damn it. I'm going to go around, guys. I don't want to deal with normies right now. I'm just so... I don't, I don't know how guys do it in the corporate world in America. It's such a... We'll talk about that one day. I, I can't even go back to that corporate lifestyle. If I have to do that, I might kill myself. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'd never kill myself, guys. Uh-uh. I'm, I'm here for, <laughs> I'm here for, I'm not going anywhere because life is, life is, is so much better and I make it better every day. <clears throat> Taking full control of your life is not easy, but it's worth it. So I went back to college in my early thirties, which was crazy, right? And I said, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to get A's. I'm going to have, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to make it. And I went back and I was studying hard. And I would even, you guys are going to laugh, but I would be on the treadmill. I would be on the elliptical and I'd be reading book, my books, my textbooks while I was on the freaking treadmill, while I was walking, while I was uh, working out. I, I just did whatever I could to make it efficient. And I would date every now and then. And I would date these older ass women who were in their 30s and they were just so bitter and fucking, you know, damaged and all this stuff. And I was like, these women are terrible. They're just awful. And when I went back to college, all these young, young girls, yeah, young girls, deal with it. Get over it, bitch. You're the ones that are bitter and insecure and hurt. That you can't handle that a guy's getting, his is moving up in life. Oh, I still got it. No, you don't, oldie. Oldie Han, you fucking old hag. You dirty old bitch. You wrinkled up old prune. You're just bitter. You're bitter that you used up your best years and now nobody wants your old ass. <clears throat> these fucking Karens man so anyway I went back went back to school and I've got all these younger women young girls 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 just all over me and I'm like what the hell is this shit because I wasn't used to dating a lot of younger women because I was so focused on getting things done and becoming successful and it was, it was an obsession at that moment to turn my life around and working on the mental game that I talked to you guys about from time to time and getting this subconscious work down, right? Getting out all the, you know, uh, issues. Because that's really what stops people in life is the mental game. And so I did that and I'm in class and all these younger girls, man, they were half, almost half my age talking to me, hitting, hitting on me, staring, choosing signals the whole nine yards. And I was like, damn. What's going on here? And so I started to engage in that. And I was like, okay, let's give it a shot. Because I'd heard a little bit about it, but I've never really explored it. And especially since you're told that that's wrong and that's bad and all this. So I, so I went for it. And I started dating younger women. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is a lot, a lot easier than I thought. They have better attitudes. They're bubbly. They're happy. They haven't been heartbroken 8 billion freaking times and I was like wait a minute this is this is interesting I'm a, there's a there's something to this 
And for me, I have to put all the pieces of the puzzle together and I said, okay, this is much, much better than I thought. They're softer, they're more, they're just, they just have so much happiness in life. And it was, it was an awakening, guys. It was just a freaking awakening. And I started to realize this was the future. And then I started doing my research, of course. And I realized, wait a minute. It prolong, it not only prolongs the lifespan of, you know, humans in general when you date younger, but you are actually pr prolonging your own lifespan. And you actually get energy from them, which was crazy. I was like, wait a minute, that's not true. That can't be right. But it is. <clears throat> and of course, you know, all the blue pillars out there and the, <laughs> the, the program bots and, you know, the freaking simps are going to say that that's horrible. And, you know, they're going to try to shame it. But no, it's, it is true. It actually prolongs your lifespan because you're literally taking, you know, taking their energy. And so when you surround yourself with younger women, you're going to have their energy, guys, because they still have their youth. And it's absolutely incredible. It's actually turning the tables where you get their energy. And they're giving you all this energy, and especially positive energy. That's one of the things that you're not going to get when you're dealing with some 30, 40-year-old wrinkled up old bitch with a bad attitude. And, you know, it's kind of funny that uh, a lot of you guys are like, oh, I'm telling it like it is. It's because I'm not in corporate America. I don't know if many of you guys know this, but I have my own business. And I'm not stuck in corporate America. I was able to make my own business, fortunately. And I don't need to be in corporate America dealing with all that nonsense. So my, I'm able to speak about what guys are really thinking about and what guys want to talk about. So yeah, I started dating much younger women. I was 31, 32, and I finished school at like 35, 36, and it was incredible, man. To be honest, guys, dating younger women was the best thing I ever did in my entire life. It changed my whole outlook. Now, right now, I'm not. I'm in Monkville, but when you date an 18-year-old, 19-year-old, 20-year-old, 21-year-old, 22-year-old, it, it, it's, it's like nothing. I was literally, I was literally in class. I'm gonna tell you something, this is crazy. What's really funny is I was in class once and I'm just sitting there, I think it was math or something, and the previous class before that, they, they were getting, you know, they were finishing up. I had got, I got there early and I'm sitting there and this gorgeous, gorgeous, man, she was probably LA 8.5, close to a nine. No makeup guys, I'm not kidding. I'm just sitting there, hanging out, doing my thing. And she, she, I could tell she was sending me choosing signals, but guys, I, I don't do the whole chasing and all this other nonsense and all that dating coach bullshit. I don't do that stuff. And I was just sitting there and I was waiting for class and I was, I don't know what the hell I was doing. I don't know. But uh, she comes up, I think one of the other classes just comes up to me and she starts chatting me up and she she was it was crazy guys it's so there's so much it's so much such a different atmosphere when you're with younger women especially in their element and i got her number i no, nothing ever came of it mainly because i i was still getting used to it and i was still i don't know what i did about that when i i think i was supposed to set something up for the weekend and i i, I fucked up somehow i don't know what i did what the hell did i do i don't even know it, it never panned out but the point being I couldn't believe how simple it was, guys. It was so freaking easy to deal with these younger women. And of course, you're going to be shamed from the normie idiots who are losers and who can't do it themselves and are jealous, pathetic pieces of crap. You're going to, guys, you're always going to be shamed for your preferences, no matter what they are. But on this channel, I don't care what they think. And I hope you guys can just enjoy your life and by the way they don't say that shit when you're out with those beautiful girls who are younger either and when i went back to college i did a young korean holy mackerel guys she was fine and a young little latin no and also a little taiwanese man she was adorable man and the point being is that when you get an opportunity to enjoy yourself 
it, it's just amazing, guys. And so what am I getting at? When I started dating younger women, I realized this is just superior. And it put me on that quest to putting all the pieces of the puzzle together. If you're a passport bro, you should, you're going to be on a much, you're, you're, you're going to be in an advantage because traditional foreign women are normally, they don't want younger guys. They want older guys by a couple of years, 10 years, 20 years. It doesn't really matter. There's not as much of a stigma to age gap dating and especially relationships because they want a man with experience. They want a man who has some actual knowledge, some leadership qualities, being able to project, being able to provide. And when you've got that, not only that, they think you're more mature. Guys, you have to understand, to my legionnaires out there, women know they're crazy. They know they're playful. They know they're silly. They know they do dumb things. They know this. Whoops. What the hell is wrong with my freaking... Uh, my freaking phone. Making sure I'm not getting that wind buffeting again. Let's see. That should be good to go. Uh, uh, uh. They know they're silly, guys. They know they're childish. They know they're children with breasts. And when you go out there and you're mature and you keep her in line, that's what they, guys, they want this. And when you're older, even by a couple of years, you're going to be able to keep them in line. Women are all about authority and respect. They want a man who's in charge. It's, it's, it's just, that's how they are. It's how they are. Now, you don't need to be a hyper-masculine, alpha male, hyper-alpha, freaking Andrew Tate style. Nothing wrong with Andrew Tate. He's freaking, you know, I know what he's, I know what he's going for. The issue with hyper-masculinity, though, it, it's too, too crazy for normies. You know what I mean? And it's too over the top. It's too, it, it's just a little too much. You're going overboard. You're swinging the pendulum too far. And that's why he's, he, that's why he gets so much pushback. <coughs> and by the way, it's not natural. It's not na natural to be hyper masculine. <coughs> you can be masculine. Sorry guys, I've been, been a little phlegmy today. You can be masculine and still be respected and still be in charge. And that's how it is with traditional foreign women when you're older. They already, guys, there's no, there's no having to hold mask on frame and do all, you don't have to do any of this stuff. You're already in charge. Do you see what I mean? That's why a lot of this stuff in America is kind of pointless. It, it really is. And it's just, it's just killing you guys. And I know a, a, there's a bunch of subscribers. You guys are on the fence about being a passport bro, going overseas and doing all this and you see, see it as a big um, hurdle and obstacle but there's just trade-offs in life guys there's a, if you want quality if you want something of value you're going to have to pay in one way shape or form and for me to get the younger women I had to go back to college do you see what I mean there's always a cost at the time right so when I went back I started doing this and I noticed just my demeanor was better. I was much more positive. And it was also because I was back in college, which now is kind of getting completely insane, libtardville. But I'll tell you this much. It was spectacular. And I, it, guys, it wasn't that many years ago. Well, actually, it kind of was. What, seven, eight years ago? Almost eight years ago. So things are definitely a little bit different. But I learned a valuable lesson in that if you really, really want to make a connection, there's gotta be an age gap. And here's the crazy thing. You think that you wouldn't have anything in common with these young women, but you actually do. Because what's interesting is they're reaching the, they're at the peak of their fertility. They're at the peak of their attractiveness. And as an older guy, you are starting to peak in your attractiveness. Because a lot of you guys think that a lot of men think that they're not attractive because they're not attractive because they don't have a strong jawline or they're not buff and have six pack abs and you know all these stupid things <coughs> now girls are attracted to that there's no doubt about it but that's not the only thing they're attracted to just your demeanor in general can attract a woman 
that's how it is. In fact, if you really think about it, guys, this is another, <laughs> the dating coach is going to get it again. Oh, man. I just, there's, <laughs> the dating coach, <laughs> the dating coach is like a, like a bad used car salesman because they don't really understand what they're doing. They're just, they're, they're just, they're just spraying, pay, they call it spray and pray, right? When they're trying to hit a target, if you guys ever shot a gun or, you know, a firearm, any type of pistol, rifle, assault rifle, if you guys have ever shot before, <laughs> Spray and pray is when you are, you know, you're pretty much, you're shooting everywhere, hoping you hit the target. That's essentially what the dating coaches do. Well, what they do is, <laughs> they're pushing <laughs> the stupid game narrative, and essentially what they do is, <laughs> oh boy, uh, should I rip into them some more? Sure, why not? They want you to spray and pray and hope for the best. You know what I mean? It, when in reality. You, you just got to be more selective with your time. I don't know why, how I, why, why I, I just was thinking of that, you know. Why was I even thinking of that? Well, mainly because when you're dealing with younger women, you're dealing with women who are impressionable, and they want a guy with some experience. They want a guy who will go. You don't have to be. You don't have to do all the things that dating coaches say six figures, six pack abs, six, 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 all this stupid stuff that really is irrelevant in the long run. Because you don't, you don't have to do all these things. You could be with a traditional foreign woman who's younger and just be a good guy and have your own things that are great about you. What I'm saying is guys, you don't have to fit this cookie cutter mold that the dating coach coaches are trying to make you do. If you just have game, if you just have money, well, that's not true. There's no point in becoming one-dimensional for women. Having just one dimension, just having money. It's, it's, what's the point of becoming Superman if you can't get the, your top quality, top level, top level woman? There's no point. <coughs> What's attractive to you is not attract necessarily attractive to women. They see experience as sexy. They see your vibe as sexy. They're turned on by specific things. And the reason why the dating coaches are wrong most of the time is because they don't realize that women change their behavior hormonally, literally day to day. They're not the same person day to day, guys. I think that's what I was really getting at with the dating coaches is they say, well, you just need this and that'll work. No, it doesn't. Women are always changing their moods. Their hormones are always moving around. You guys can look this up. It's crazy, but they're literally not the same person day to day. One day they're bloated and gassy. They don't want to see you and they hate you. The next day they love you, especially in the West especially with birth control. You see what I mean? Those hormonal changes. And that's 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 going to mess up your game right there, even if you have game. You get what I mean? So, when I was in college, man, let me tell you something, guys. It was insane. It was absolute insanity, and that was just 8 years ago. And that first time I went to college, it was crazy too. It was very similar. It's just <laughs> just a repeat because these girls are finding themselves you see what I mean but the crazy part is guys I didn't here's what I'm saying when I went back to college I didn't expect a ton of young chicks to be coming after me I thought they'd be interested here and there but not at the rate that it was and I was one of the only older guys in the class in these classes in almost every class I was in there was at least one or two girls who were interested and I could get Guys, pulling numbers from these classes was no big deal. I couldn't believe it. And of course, now it's going to be different. It's much more social media heavy. Much And back then, 2016, 2012 to 16, you know, social media was really just getting its its groove, Snapchat, etc. and all that. But, oh yeah, guys, it's, it's effing nutty. It's hookup central. And I didn't partake in a lot of it. 
mainly because I wanted to study and get good grades this time around, which I did. I was getting straight A's. All the way up until I think the last, like the last semester, I got like a couple B's. Do you see what I mean? Because I just wanted to get it over with. At that point, I was like, dude, college, I need a break. <laughs> this is the second time around. I've had enough of all this schooling. But I really went back for myself. I wanted to get my degree, finish up business economics, get that knowledge, and just complete something in my lifetime instead of giving up. Because I was so used to giving up at everything. So, yeah, guys. When I started dating, like really understanding younger women and how they think and all this stuff, I was like, damn, this is incredible. This is a revolution. <laughs> and the best part was that when I started dating younger women and I would take them out and just be out with them, guys, they don't require as much as you think when you're making that connection in the real world in real time. Now, of course, obviously today, it's it's over especially in the west right in terms of like dating because the libtard women and the libtards in general these girls are just effing a mess they've got only fans they've got seeking they're prostituting themselves it, they're just they're so far gone it's not even funny but what i learned from that experience was if i can translate this to the foreign women and figure out how they think it, it, the game is over and then so what I did was I started dating foreign born traditional well more liberal but then I realized that the traditional was the only way to settle down when I do want to when I started dating them I was like this is it guys this is that this is the end goal to settle down with a younger traditional foreign woman because they are absolutely effing spectacular. They are going to treat you like you've never been treated before. And they're pure. They are 100% pure. You don't have to deal with a bunch. A lot of what we've all dealt with is women with... I thought that was an owl up there. Dude, guys, sometimes, sometimes in the middle of the night, there'll be an effing owl, like a big-ass owl, and it'll go like this. It'll turn its head at you. Gee, woof! These massive, not not you know, not like ten feet or nothing, but big ass, big ass birds of prey just kicking it up there. <laughs> You're like Jesus Christ, and then they t whoo, whoo, their wings wings open up, and you just man, some big ass owls out here. Anyway, what I realized is that was the end goal, not some old wrinkly, disgusting, used up, you know fupa with the stretch marks and all the no guys and so that was the beginning that was the journey and after that I was like man I could get used to this and I'll never forget when I went back to college guys here I was like 34 35 and here I am with this bubbly little Latina and she's like five foot two just adorable really really cute and she was a virgin I was like damn and she's like yeah but if you stick me with me you know and I was like uh, I can't I, I can't do it man I can't do it and she was really cute she was really cute but I was like nah no nah. you know what I mean it, it, because now she's gonna get attached and I was just, I wasn't ready for a relationship once again get guys 35 plus bare minimum to be in a relationship because that's when you really start getting all your life together and your your money and all that stuff and she was really cute but the point being and of course she I, she hit me up a couple months later and she's like yeah she's like i wish i wish we could have done more and all been more or whatever and she's and then she started crying about how some dude took her virginity and bounced and i was like see that could have been me and i was like nah now nah, that's cool and it and she just it, it was crazy guys it was just crazy but I wish I had known more about this early on but I'll tell you this much I who, who by the way who really wants an older woman anyway some wrinkly angry bitter just all hurt and just get the fuck out of my face and I released a short earlier. 
about how and then I looked at uh, you know the hidden co you know when they because in the comments section what happens guys is if there's like a really angry comments or then it just catches it it review it puts them in puts them in review sometimes I don't even catch them and I was looking in there and there were so many angry women how dare you just say you're a pedo without saying you're I'm like man these women are so fuck it's no wonder guys are going overseas so I just want you guys to know I mean and it's it's not it, it's like nothing you've ever experienced so then I started dating overseas younger women and in fact gentlemen I have not been with a woman my age and I don't even know how long maybe almost three four five I, I can't I don't even know because they're just they're so used up in fact, the optimum age, to be honest with you guys, is 18 to 25. Anything past that, I'm, I, no. I just can't do it. It's very, very, very rare. For real. They're just, they're used up, they're bitter, they're too... And by the way, most of these American girls are dead already inside by that age anyway. By 20, 21, 22. The great news is, though, if you do go overseas, you'll notice they're much more innocent, much more lively. The little Chinese that I was with, the last one, I've been with a couple, but the last one I was with, it was a 14-year age gap. 14 years. So, what was I, 30, 36, 30, yeah, 36, and she was 22. And it was damn good, to be honest, guys. But once again, too, too, too soon for a relationship. And that's why I never commit to them. Very rarely, guys. Just like, nah, no. And they push for it. Don't get me wrong. They push for it. But I realized that it's just, it's a much better combination. And that's what they're looking for, too, as well. They're looking for that stability. They're looking for that security. And they're not going to find it with a younger guy. Another thing that they complain about with the younger, when you're, if you're a younger guy, is that you're going to be out there partying and getting other chicks. I get where they're coming from. There's nothing wrong with being a younger guy either. But, um, and especially, by the way, if you're a younger guy out there and you're looking to get laid, you just get with the older chicks, guys. 30s, 40s, there's plenty of them. Now, of course, some of them think they're going to be spoiled. But if you're a younger guy, they're not going to think you're going to spoil them. They're, they, are no, they know you're broke. But they know you have tons of stamina. And you're just going to pound them out. So, And that goes even to this day, guys. Because, look, it doesn't matter how many of them are getting attention online. They're, gonna, they're definitely going to have sugar, dad, or, or, uh, sugar daddies and guys they're going, to try, they're going to try to get money out of. But you don't have to be that guy. So, And another thing is they've already... They're just looking to get pounded out a lot of times anyway because they know they can't settle down. So that is one loophole. That is way, one way around all of the craziness that's going on. It's a civil war. To be honest, guys, it's a civil war. And so, yeah, I started dating younger. And I, ever since then, my life has been a lot, lot better. It's, uh, especially with women, guys. Because they look for guidance, for assistance. they less of an energy drain. Now there's definitely going to be headaches. There's no guys. There's no perfect solution. Even pe going overseas is not perfect. But I'll tell you this much: those women who are younger are af they're absolutely spectacular, sweet, gentle, good attitudes, less tantrums, bitchiness. Guys, you're not going to be dealing with nearly any of that. Now, of course, you're going to deal with more flakiness. You know, lost, distracted. That's one of my lines I use on them too. You seem distracted. Oh, oh. I oh, guys, I always, I'm always on top of them, literally. If uh, if I'm dealing, if I'm dating, but once again, dating is dating's more of a. It's it's not really. <laughs> we don't really date in America. We we hook up, right? There's no such thing as dating. It's just prostitution. So, but yeah, oh man, I totally forgot about that. And then I was thinking about it today, and I was like, how, how have we not gone over the younger women? 
the younger women are just absolutely phenomenal. They're bouncy, they're bubbly, they're happy. It's it's unreal. And it's fresh. It's new to them. Everything's new. It's a new experience. You know, every motorcycle I've ever had, I, I throw one of those young girls in the back and they're like, yay, let's go. They're flexible. <laughs> oh, yeah, guys, they're a lot of fun in bed, too. And they're, you know, they, they've got passion. Young little bubbly. Just just hilarious. Good attitudes. Yeah, lots of Asians in college, man. Especially since I'm in Los Angeles, guys. Uh, did a lot of Asians in uh, in class. And I got a lot of numbers, too. And I was like, dang, this is, this is really easy. It's really not difficult. Because it wants... And by the way, if you have status... It, it, that's another thing. When, you, when you're older, you're seen as wiser. You have more status. Uh, you're more established. These things mean so much to women. It really does. So, traditional. What's the difference? Well, traditional younger women are absolutely, insanely superior. They, they cannot wait to pair bond with you. Because you are considered top, 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 top of the line. You are considered the highest quality thing that they can get. See, what's funny is... What all of my legionnaires, you guys are going to start understanding over time, is that when you see a young woman and you're attracted to her, that same experience that you had being attracted to her, it's the same experience she has looking at you. She sees you in that that light of being superior to her, to being incredible. And that's one thing that I show my legionnaires is that in many ways you're superior to them in many ways no matter what you may have been told no matter what you may think now you don't need to deal with any of this crap in the west it's not necessary <clears throat> it's absolutely incredible you're seen as top quality you are seen as incredible and by the way once again even if you're not the most attractive guy or tall it really isn't relevant because your status as just being an older guy carries a lot of weight it means you've seen a lot of years and you have some wisdom even if you're just in your 30s late 20s that stuff carries weight but as you get older it, one thing that is not easy for men to get used to is the fact that you keep getting attract, more attractive with age what young women see you as incredibly attractive as you get older. It's not easy to understand, but you're you just keep getting more attractive. Sylvester Stallone's almost eighty, and he still has. Like I, I look at, <laughs> I'll see his posts, and they'll say Silver Fox, and and it's also because he has status, obviously. But the bottom line is, when you're older, guys, it just it's it's as you get older. That's why I never want you guys to worry. I never, ever, ever, ever want you to worry about dealing with any of them. Because, what time is it? Oh, okay, cool. Let's check it. You, you guys, you don't have to worry about any of this stuff. You don't have to worry about things not being as amazing or incredible. And here's another thing. When you're dealing with older women, Sometimes you're not going to be you're not going to be very attracted to them. They're not going to be turning you on at all. In fact, most of the time because their bodies are not fertile anymore biologically. And you think it's your problem like you'll you'll be like, "Wait a minute. I'm not that ready to go." You know what I mean? I'm not that fired up about it. Well, the reason for that is because her body is old and decrepit on the inside. I don't care how many Botox injections she's gotten, all this other crap. It's irrelevant, guys. Younger women are fertile, and your body can't resist. <laughs> guys, you, your, your body's going to be at attention. You're going to be at salute, at full salute when you're with the younger woman. Oh, yes. 
it, there's not going to be any problems at all. <laughs> In fact, you're going to go, wow, uh, let's, let's, let's do that again. Let's go a couple rounds. Your body is going to be ready to go because she's ready to go. She's younger. She's fertile. Case in point, I just sold a, a motorcycle that I have. And this guy comes down. And he's 70 F and 3. 70 F and 3. He didn't sound like that over the phone. I was like, okay. So he comes down. He jumps on the bike. He didn't even tell me his age. His girlfriend tells me his age. I was like, what? I was like, dang. And she was in her late 40s, early, maybe early 50s. And she looked good for her age. I was like, dang, dude, okay. And she's like, oh, yeah, you know, he's... She, I could tell, man, he was the man. He told her what to do. He's like, oh, park here, do this. You could tell there's a certain degree of authority. And so he just jumps on a motorcycle, which is extremely fast and powerful. <laughs> he was insane, guys. And I was like, this old-ass man. You know, just riding around, doing his thing. He And he's... You know, he's got all this pep in his step. There's a reason for that. Should I go up there? Should I go all the way up? I don't feel like it. No, you know what? Let's go for it, guys. Nah, we're going all the way. And he had a lot of pep in his step for a reason. Because they keep you young. Hugh Hefner, if you need, if you, I, I, some of you younger guys aren't going to know who Hugh Hefner is. He was one of those, uh, I think he was the founder of Playboy, if I'm not mistaken. I think he died at like 90-something, 90 96, something crazy like that. And he always had young women around him. That's how he lived. You know what I mean? But the older Western women are going to try to shame you for that. And you can tell them to go F off, whether they like it or not. <laughs> they don't like it. They really, and it's, it pisses them off. You want to know why it makes them mad, guys? Because they wasted their youth. They wasted their youth and now you are coming up and having a good time and you're not giving them attention. This is what it all boils down. It's always about attention, gentlemen. No matter what the situation, Western women, American women need your attention and we're taking it away from them because they're old bitches who aren't in relationships. And by the way, they did it to themselves. They get divorced. They do their thing. Too bad. You did it to yourself. So yeah, it's, it's absolutely spectacular. It's absolutely spectacular. It's a hell of a lot of fun. And it keeps you alive. It keeps you young. There's a different demeanor to men who are with younger women. There's a different vibe. Different level of energy. And if I go back to college for round three, <laughs> oh, it's not going to be... Uh... Guys, I've already been to college twice. Jeez, it's crazy. I think I could do it again and still still have a great time. Oh, these poor man, these poor girls. They just they just get totally totally ran through in college. College is, is I I think they're getting it's even worse than before. They're getting ran through even quicker. Because now they have so many they're overwhelmed with options. And heaven help the next generation. My god. And they can't even spell with it. <laughs> but it's cool, man. It's cool. Yeah, maybe I'll go to back to college again. Just for fun. Just for fun. Get another degree. Oh, man, my legs. But yeah, they're... Younger women are just spectacular. So then I started to go overseas and date younger women. Chinese, Hong Kong. Holy cow. Man, my legs. Hong Kong women, younger. Oh man, just spectacular. Um, a girl from Macau as well. Macau is the Asian Las Vegas. And I'm telling, man, she was 24. Oh my God, guys. The one, uh, one from, I've dated a bunch of chicks from Hong Kong, now I think about it. But one who, when I was in Hong Kong, she was almost tw 25, almost 26. Man. She was amazing. And it just, it's just easier to get along with them, guys. It's so much easier to get along with them. They're, they really want to make a connection. They want to be the one. They want to be the only one. They're just dying for your affection and attention. 
it's incredible. It, it's it's really spectacular. And they just have a better aura about them. You're not dealing with a bunch of baggage and ch- you know ex ex boyfriends. My ex is after me, and all this. Do you, th- if you guys really think about it, how much crap do we deal with when we're dealing with American women? I mean, they are so so nutty. Now, every woman deep down likes drama. I don't even care if they're foreign. Interested. Every woman likes a little bit of drama. They need it to stay alive. They need a little bit of... Just to... T- See, here's... Okay, so the difference with traditional foreign women, they need a little bit of it. So, like, if you say something crazy... <gasps> oh, I can't believe you said that. Or, you know what I'm saying? They need a little bit of that... Some friction. You make fun of their hair or something. You you poke you know you poke them in the belly and say come on fatty get your ass to the gym. you know you say something horrible oh. they don't they don't really cry they just go oh that is true I am fat <laughs> do you see whoa I'm kind of close to the edge again ah. they uh if you if you mess around with them kind of tease them and stuff they love that stuff guys they love a little bit of they like a little bit of a little bit of that. You don't have to be freaking a maniac going crazy, but they do enjoy it. It does it, guys, if a, to my legionnaires, if a woman ever says, I hate this, oh, uh, you're keeping her emotion. When you keep women emotional, guys, they're never going to go anywhere. Ever. And that's why, <laughs> that's why with, when you're with a young traditional foreign woman at a young, when she's young and you're a, a little bit older, you're not going anywhere. You're her only experience. 80% of women who are virgins who get married stay married. That number drops to what What was it? Uh, 50% if they've had one or two. You know what I mean? And I don't even know if that's if those are traditional. American, foreign, traditional. I have no idea. Right? So, oh yeah. You just push their buttons a bit. But it's just different when you're overseas. When you're in these other countries. When you're in Mexico. When you're in China. When you're in Hong Kong. When you're in Macau. You're dealing with a different culture. And that culture says age gap dating kicks ass. <laughs> and you don't have to be with some old wrinkled. <laughs> Damn it. I, I, I didn't time it perfectly. I really wanted to hear the old. I wanted them to hear the old wrinkled part. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He's he's trying to create. He's trying to stir drama. I wanted to see if those old bitches. Now they're probably nice old bitches. They're just old bitches. <laughs> you get your call on the bitches again. Oh. The only issue is well, here's the good news, guys. <laughs> if you by the way, if you do go back to college, let me know how that goes. But I think uh, the good news is I don't think you're going to be dealing with a ton of Gen Z Kellys in college. Mainly because Gen Z Kellys are, they usually don't go to college. But there are a ton of college chicks who are prostituting themselves. There's no doubt about it. So I bet you're going you're gonna to get a lot of... They, they, the American women are just a mess. They're just damaged goods. They're too far gone, guys. They're too far gone. I mean, if you can get them maybe at 18... Without being completely ran through, great, but even then it's too late. You can't settle down with them. Do not settle down with Western women, gentlemen. You are looking to lose. I do not empathize or sympathize with, if, with you if you go against what I'm, tell, what I'm advising you on. I do have sympathy or empathy for you if you did it before you were told not to. That's one thing that men, we need to get better at in general, is having sympathy or empathy for guys who have effed up, who didn't know any better. And the reason for that, gentlemen, is because we have to learn from other men's mistakes. So few men want to learn from other guys' mistakes. This guy's got his lights on, and he's a mail truck, Jesus Christ. 
we don't learn from other gentlemen's mistakes. We don't listen to them, and in turn, we keep making this. Because here, what guys don't do is they don't. They just don't listen. They're a little too stubborn when it comes to, like, for example, when you hear dozens and dozens of men in the real world in real time telling you not to get married don't do it you're looking to screw up your life guys still do it to this day even though we've known for 10 20 years do not marry these hoes they are freaking freaking divorcing you in the west what do guys do they're still getting married not as much it's definitely gone down the marriage rate has dropped precipitously the divorce rates dropped and the marriage rate but there's still some knucklehead, bonehead sips who do this stuff. Some guys that are just blue pill who are just stuck in the matrix. There's definitely a difference between blue pill guys and sips. Sips go way above and beyond, right? And then I guess there is a combination of blue pill simping. But anyway, we need to we really need to listen to each other when it comes to this stuff. And that's one reason why social media is so amazing is guys are finally getting together and actually listening to each other. Excuse me, guys. Freaking carne asada. I was hungry today. But guys are coming together and starting to listen to each other's problems, concerns. They're starting to collaborate, voice opinions. And this is the first time it's been done in for forever. Maybe ever. And that's really what the red pill is about, guys. It's not about women. It's about reality. It's about being able to deal with the real world and be able to deal with what's really happening and not a bunch of fantasy and feelings and what you think. I mean, no, what you feel. It's unbelievable how much we've gotten towards a feeling. There's like no... <laughs> we don't deal in facts anymore. And you cannot be happy living in a fantasy-based uh, life. This guy's staring at me for some reason. <laughs> in his freaking Tesla. He's probably like, that light vest light looks spectacular. Oh, I'll put it on my car. Oh, Simpy Sam is back. Oh, I love my wife pegging me. Don't listen to this light vest guy. He's terrible, honey. I would never go after a younger woman. All your rolls and your fat, you know, your, your meat hooks. Get your meat hooks off of me. That's disgusting. With your, with your triple chins. I just love you just the way. Let me tell you something. As a simp, I will always kiss your ass and tell you that you're superior to me. Because that's what simps do. I'm Simpy Sam. Don't be fooled. There's the one and only. I'm genuine. Oh, now you turn your turn signal on. <laughs> oh, people in... Man, LA drivers, man, are the worst. Let me tell you guys, they're very passive aggressive. They're freaking annoying. Anyway, yeah, younger, firmer. That's another thing. Younger women have much firmer bodies, guys. Yeah, holy, it, it, everything stays in the right place. Oh my effing god. Oh yes. It's, it's just like. It's like, per oh, man, I, I just breathtaking. Let's just put it that way. And of course, at the end of the day, even the young girls, they do want something from you. They do want to, to be with you. And of course, they're told no. They're told no. You need to be single. Don't have a boyfriend. Don't have kids. Don't get married. They're told this by all the other libtard women in the West. But when you're overseas, nope. They want to settle down with you guys. The vast majority of women overseas, you will notice, want relationships. And they want to keep you because the competition is so effing brutal. The competition for women overseas, gentlemen, is like nothing you have ever experienced in your entire life. They compete with each other just for regular guys. Because they know without us, they're effed. So, for example, even the Hong Kong girl, and, and Hong Kong is very, it's a very rich, there's a huge wealth gap in Hong Kong. 
And she wasn't necessarily rich or anything, but her fa family had just t a little bit of money. <clears throat> but even her, I could tell she was extraordinarily competitive about this. And she was really, really, really pretty, man. Got, man, I know I haven't shown you any receipts, but I'm not a dating coach. I'm not a dating coach, Dan. I don't need to show you guys receipts, but my point being, she's attractive. Uh, especially for an Asian chick. I mean, I give her an LA7. No makeup. You know what I mean? Re just really, really... Yeah. <laughs> so, and once again, guys, remember... The vast majority of women on this planet are going to be fives and sixes. The vast majority. There's not... Guys, there's very few true sevens, eights, nines, tens, whatever. There's very few. There's not that many. It By... By... By design... You're, the most, the the most, most women you're going to deal with in life, and the ones that are usually the best to settle down with, with are fives and sixes. I'm dead serious. Now, why you ask? Because they are at a disadvantage. They're not as pretty as the other girls. They're a little bit above average or whatever, and they're they usually make excellent wives, and that's what they're trained to do. And by the way, this is very very common overseas as well. For example, if you're in China. Your average woman is trained on how to cook, clean, take care of the house because she's average. That's how it is overseas when you are in China. There is none of this fucking, I feel, you know, oh, I feel like I'm a 10 even though I'm a 3. I'm a 49 or I'm a 4, I'm a, a 4 who thinks she's a 9. There's none of that stuff over there, guys. They're very, very well aware that they're not pretty and they have to, they have to work hard to keep you. Now, don't get me wrong, just because they're not gorgeous or anything, they make up for it. You know what I mean? <laughs> they're going to make up for it in the bedroom, cooking, and they're going to stay in shape. Now, if you're dealing with prettier women overseas, they're going to have more options. A lot more options? Eh, not necessarily. But they're not going to have the same skills. For example, the Hong Kong girl that I was dating was... A presenter. She was a news, like a news anchor. You know what I mean, like a news anchor in uh, a, what would be considered in America. They call them presenters over there. So anyway, she's considered pretty, not spectacularly gorgeous, but pretty. So she would be considered a great girlfriend. Do you see what I mean? She would be considered a great, um, like a geisha, or somebody who's great at present. She, she's going to go out with you on a date or a, a dinner or a luncheon or something like that, business meeting, and she's going to be a great side piece. And she knew that's what her job was. She's like, I would not be the best wife, but I will be a great girlfriend for you. Because they know that they can't fulfill all of your needs. That's what's amazing about these countries. There is no one-stop shopping, gentlemen. They know you're going to they know you're going to sleep around. They know this. They just don't want you to embarrass them. What the fuck? Oh, I can't even turn my neck. I'm so sore today, guys. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my body's sore. I'm going to get good sleep tonight. But yeah, they. She, she knew. And the other Chinese girls that I dated. And then the other Chinese girl. Man, I'm telling you. It, it's a different... It's different. It's very, very different. Oh, they know you're... They know you're going to... They know you're going to step out on them if you're overseas or something like that. I'm not saying you need to go out there and just throw your dick around. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is they know that it's a possibility. Now, if you're in a relationship and you need to cheat, I don't, I don't really understand the point of being in a relationship. Then. It's kind of confusing, but I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't say no because, for example, if you are, if you need to travel... And you need to be gone for a couple weeks. Look, guys, we have needs. We got to go out there and we got to do what we got to do. As long as you're not bringing any kids home, diseases, I don't see the big deal. Because you got to do what you got to do. We have serious needs sometimes, and women overseas understand this. Oh, yeah, she knew. She was like, oh, she's like, she's like I'm not the best cook, but I can cook rice. <laughs> 
I can make you I can make you little dumplings. And I said, are you a little dumpling? And she's like, oh, you're making fun of me. Am I fat now? Am I a fat dumpling? And I said, yes. <laughs> I said, now say it. And she's like, she, she, me. That means thank you. <laughs> you're so abusive. You're abusing her. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it when American women cry, man. It makes me laugh every time because it's so fake. It, it, if you guys ever listen to them actually cry, it's so fake, guys. Women, women never cry real tears in public. That's all fake, 100% phony nonsense to get you to feel bad. Feel. You need to feel. Simping is a non-existent overseas jump. Men are absolutely brutal overseas. They don't put up with men. Man, if any of these wet Western women go over there and try to pull, the, man, they'll get slapped so fast. It's 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 intimidating overseas, gentlemen. They, they don't play around. And we need, we will get back to that in America. It's coming, but it's going to take a long effing time because America is a weak, limp, as weak and limp as it is ever. If I have to identify as a female to go ahead and get my way, I'm going to do it. Let me tell you something, guys. <laughs> you know what I should do? I'm going to I'm gonna do what those guys do. I'm going to say, yeah, 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 I identify as a female. And then I'm going to beat all those stupid-ass women powerlifters. <laughs> Just for fun. I've literally... Haven't you guys seen stories about that? Like the past... The whole past... Like for the past year or two... Almost two years. Guys just beat breaking records left and right. Just identifying as women. I identify as a black woman. How dare you? You're racist. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm identifying as a black woman. A sassy black woman. Shaquifla. That's me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shit. <laughs> oh, man. How, how effed up would it be? If I went to one of those competitions and I've got a pack of menthol cigarettes. I got my menthols. <laughs> menthol cig. Oh my god, that would be the most racist, hilarious thing ever. But it would be entertaining. <laughs> Guys, there's none of this woke nonsense. There, there's no such thing as wokeness overseas. The government stamps that crap out so fast. And even the people that try to get. Man. It's much more strict than you guys could ever imagine. And rightfully so. You have to keep dumbasses in check. Libtards. And that's... See, so many guys are afraid. They're afraid that all oh, this wokeness bullshit, woke nonsense is going to go overseas. It, it, it cannot exist by default, guys. Because liberal women do not have enough children to pass down this ideology I don't care how much it doesn't matter how much you scream to the high heavens about this stuff in on the internet in the media it's irrelevant if you don't teach your kids this stuff and you're not pro, uh, producing enough children guess what your ideology dies off whereas the little Latina who comes over here who's Mexican, who keeps speaking Spanish in her household and has four or five kids, they grow up to be Americanized, they stop procreating. That's just how it's always been. Yes. Liberal people do not procreate nearly as much as conservatives. Case in point, my family, my brother, my sister, very Americanized. My sister's not having children. My brother hasn't. I haven't. It's just that simple, gentlemen. It really is. And I'm not saying I wouldn't, but for me, I'm getting old, guys. And this, this actually does more... I, I don't know. It's really... If you guys want to be fathers, that's, that's, that's the future. My hat's off to you. But I would be a father outside of the United States and have your kids overseas in a traditional country. You're probably going to see them more often than you will in this country way more often you see what I mean because the laws the laws can be look I don't have kids but if you guys want to know about the child custody laws 
if you want to know about the uh, what's it called the whole uh, family law courts you go over to coach Greg Adams channel you subscribe that guy knows the courts inside and out and gentlemen you do not want to be in the courts fighting for your children you don't want to be doing it because the courts are going to kick the crap out of you right you're going to be dealing with your baby mama terrorist as he likes to call it and I think he's 100% he talks more about that stuff I'm more and he makes fun of the passport bro sometimes shout out to you CGA but it's cool he, he does he does he knows that the, what the passport bro is all about but at the same time I've got a ton of knowledge <laughs> and I keep learning more and more and you want to know what's funny I meet so many women who come from other countries who are conservative who come to the west and they always say the same it's, it's like a broken record they always want the same thing especially the young ones especially the young ones I just want a good man as long as he treats me right. If he can get along with my family, that's how it is, gentlemen. Sweet, bubbly, bouncy. Jesus Christ, it's getting cold. I'm gonna go around. Fuck this. I'm going around. It's fucking freezing. Sweet, bubbly, bouncy, full of energy. Not angry every five seconds. You need a lesson. Yeah, guys. Do you want to wake up to that every day? And what's the, what the hell is, oh man, American women are going down. <laughs> what is with the short bob haircut after you get married? I've seen this for 20, 30, 40 years. I'm, I'm so, man, when you're with your young traditional foreign woman, she's going to keep her hair long. She's going to stay in shape. She's going to keep herself in line. <sighs> man. Oh yeah, guys, I could have easily settled down with that hunt. That, that girl, oh my god, she was so beautiful. She was really pretty, guys. I had to let her down easy. She's really, really pretty. Holy mackerel. Man. She was... She had like porcelain skin. And she had little dimples. I like them kind of cutesy. She had little dimples. I said, what the... What is, what is that hole in your face? She's like, it is a dimple. I said, what? She's like, a dimple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, and I just started I kept laughing she's like why are you laughing <laughs> see <laughs> guys for me I always laugh I can't help it I always laugh at women no matter what I always laugh at and they always say the same why are you laughing what, what, what did I do <laughs> I, you want to know why I laugh at them guys I've known so I've met so many women in my life so many effing women it is not even funny I've dated so many women, and they're always, <laughs> they're always so silly to me. I never take women, guys, stop taking women seriously. For real. Don't even bother. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're such a joke. In general, their, their behavior, and they know they are. So, thank you, sir. Ah, ah, my legs are a little crippled. So, she, you know, her little dimple, and I go like this. And I poked it and I said, you know, you have a hole in your face. It's like a retarded muscle. And she laughed, of course. But the bottom line is, when you are dealing with younger women who are traditional, who are foreign, who are sweet, who are gentle, who want to take care of you, who want you to be there for them, it's, it's, it's one of the, it's, it's, it's absolutely incredible. It's so awesome. You don't have to deal, you know, with Western walruses and buffaloes and Big ass fat bitches from the West. Fat American women. No, man. You don't need to deal with all that crap. Fat American women. <laughs> uh, I want to see if they, I want to see if they try to jump in the video. And I'll go, oh, whoop. if they start fighting with me, I'm definitely, don't worry guys, I'll definitely record it. I'll definitely capture all that. And it will be effing hilarious. You know, they'll try to jump in. They'll be like, what did you say? And then we'll, I'll be like, uh, are you hard of hearing? Do you need to, do you need me to clear the ear, you know, clean the earwax out of your ears? <laughs> oh yeah, guys, I'm horrible. 
I am absolutely... When I get into arguing... <laughs> I'm not going to argue with them. I'm just going to make fun of them. Because I used to get into arguments with feminists, guys, back in the day. Back when I was young. When I was like 19, 20, 21, I would get into arguments. And I would laugh at them too, but I would just drive them crazy and piss them off. It was so much fun. Because you kind of... You, you, you kind of... <laughs> You get their head spinning, right? You, you, you really piss them off and push them Because ah, ah. to them, it's a turn on. But you, to you, it's a turn off because they have hair on their upper lip. <laughs> oh, man. We have too much fun on this channel, guys. Should I keep going? Ah, fuck it. Let's keep going. Let's go to hell. I'm kidding. But yeah, gentlemen, when you go traditional form, when you go overseas, it's, it's, it's literally heaven. Now, of course, it's going to take some work. As always, it always takes work. There is, guys, there's, there's no paradise. There's no utopia. There's trade-offs. But if you want the highest quality, if you want a paradise for you, <coughs> excuse me, damn, you know, why are these places so not busy? Is it? Oh, it's a Thursday. Oh, dang, that tree is beautiful. Check it out, guys. It's like a blue... Check out that check out that tree right there. Like all blue. But yeah, when you do it, I mean, you know what? Let me go around this screen. I don't want to go this way. When you when you go over there, it's gonna be God damn. It's a trade-off. Something in my mouth. It's a trade-off, and that's fine. Just know that you're gonna be trading off certain freedoms. It doesn't matter which country you go to, especially the conservative ones, because they are more conservative. That's how it is. You are not dealing with a bunch of libtard crap. Right? Simping behavior. That, I think that's the, that's the one you guys are going to really enjoy the most, is the lack of, simp, of simpery. And uh, most of the guys are very easy to get along with in general, because they're, uh, they're just more calm. And they know it... I think the reason why those guys are so calm and they're not, uh, you know, passive aggressive and fighting sometimes and calm the next is because they know they got it on lock. They know that their society is under control in certain ways. <clears throat> and that's a very uh, relaxing feeling knowing you're not going to be dealing with ball busting bitches. And especially since there's an overabundance, uh, overabundance of them. Right? Especially Mexico you know, Latin America and all these other Asian countries, right? So just understand you're going to be dealing with people that are much calmer in general. And especially if you have a good attitude as well. You're going to have to adjust your attitude over there. <coughs> if you're high strong, if you're, if you're, you know, easily offended and, you know, ultra sensitive like an F in vagina, probably not going to do too well in these other countries. They're gonna be like, you need to, you need to chill, man. You need to settle down a little bit. So, but yeah, that's the that's the bulk. Of it. I can't believe we haven't talked about the younger women. But in in general, gentlemen, younger women are going to be superior, and you're just gonna you're just gonna love it. You're gonna love it in general. So if you haven't done it already, or if you're in monk mode, don't worry about it. But when you do want to settle down, definitely go for younger. What else? That's pretty much it. Today is more calm, not as crazy. <sighs> I wanted to do a fun one where I told you guys a little bit. Talked about some fun stuff. Some uh, some chill. Something more relaxed. But we're going to get back to bashing the hell out of American women as you guys always love. <laughs> oh, you guys love that stuff. You love <laughs> you love when it, you love it when we kick them when they're down. <laughs> That's what you really enjoy. Yeah, kick these bitches down. <laughs> oh, yes. Until next time, gentlemen. Definitely watching you, so let's get to it.